So it's just so crazy. Um, I would I would love nothing more than to see Joe Biden explain this or or Kareem Jean Pierre <laughs> spin this thing and tell us um, exactly why this happened. Because and what's crazier though is that when you watch the left wing Instagram accounts and stuff, they're you know they're also celebratory, but they're they're just eating these little droppings every single time. Like you, you didn't. I mean, these people who are cheering this. Are they still believe that Kyle Rittenhouse shot three black people? They still believe that Jacob Blake w- was shot dead. They still believe. I mean, every single thing. It's like the the Wiley uh, Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner, or Lucy in the football. Like we got him this time, bro. It's all a complete facade, and they refuse to see through it. It's this is no longer like just regular ignorance. This is like being so steadfast, like ignoring things on purpose. Has Charlie Brown been canceled yet? I feel like it must have been. There's got to be something in Charlie Brown that's been canceled. But I think when your um, invisible handshake counter goes above one, then it's time to start asking questions. I think he's at at least two now. There's the one where he turns off to the side and nobody's there. And now five seconds, Eric, and he's forgetting that he shook a man's hand that's standing right in front of him. That's incredible. Have you seen what's in this new inflation relief package, Olivia? See if you can find that. I think Fox had a short list of it. I'm sure somebody else has a bullet point of the inflation relief bill, I believe it's called. And um, it's a lot. To the do euphemisms with... never stop. I know, right? That's how they sell it. That's how they yeah. even though on the surface, you don't even have to dig into something that called inflation relief. We're going to print more money and spend more of your money in order to reduce inflation. I believe the correct thing to do would just literally be send the money back to you. You've collected it through taxes to literally give it back. I think that's the about the best thing you can do. But I know it has something to do. Um, they've got some credits in there for green energy. Um, I'm sure there's, there's Ukraine stuff. They passed another half billy, as I call it, uh, to Ukraine recently. Do we have anything on that yet, Olivia? We need to keep looking probably. I think the most notable thing that I saw was the uh, was it seventy eight or eighty seven thousand new IRS right. agents. Right, the IRS that's like the, thing. Yeah, um, that's like the the title track, as some might say. <laughs> um, some might. Um, but my thing is, and everybody's talking about, you know, the uh, they didn't raid Hillary. They're not going after Hunter Biden. Um, but and that's those are all true things, right? That is, those are one hundred percent valid questions. However. I'm a little bit more concerned with why you can hire an army of IRS agents, but you can't put anybody at the border. Are we to believe that these, um, I don't, I don't want to get, I forget the exact numbers, 87 or 89 or 90, so whatever. Yeah, it's, I think it's 87,000 more yeah, to, to go after what 200 billionaires in the entire country. Well, they what haven't you, said that there is the, there was a clip that came out on NBC the other day where he said, are these going to only be make these going after people only making over 400,000? And the guy said, we're not going to do that. So what I hear when a country without money and who's spending out of control says that we're hiring more IRS agents, it means they're going to be milking people dry um, for as much as they can. Let's throw up whatever that is, Olivia. Um, inflation reduction. What tax hikes are on the bill? Let's read some of this. Uh, months of negotiation, seven hundred and thirty-nine billion over the next decade. Um, revenue is going towards initiatives, dev- of course, designed to combat climate change and curb pharmaceutical prices. I mean, some of that could be good, as well as efforts to reduce the nation's thirty trillion dollar bet. It includes. No, I do think. Go ahead. That tr- well, I was just going to say, I do think that and you can fact check me on this, but Trump had some sort of executive order that was putting a cap on pharmaceuticals that was. Uh, dissolved by Joe Biden mm-hmm. and now he's doing it. So it's the same thing that we saw when he says, oh, well, we created X amount of new jobs. It's like, no, you just gave people their jobs back after you took yeah. them away. And as far I mean, are we to believe that these agents, I mean, are they going to be tracking the the financial status of these migrants that have hopped over the fence and they're busting all over the country? Are you going to track them? Or are you going to track the guy who just deposited $601? I think we've discussed it before, but I know in Canada, refugee employment rate is around 
10%. Now, I don't know if it's the same for the U.S. at all because of how many, you know, people from Central America would claim refugee status. They're probably more work able than people coming from a war torn country. But that, I think, in itself tells you that there's a problem with the refugee system if somebody's just be coming to another country for economic reasons as opposed to which was Syrian refugees coming here. Uh, don't ask me why we selected a particular one. It was just a person at the time. Let's bring that back up, Olivia. I know there was 433 billion in new spending, while well, roughly 300 million uh, benefits. Rush Republicans argue the measure does little to tackle higher prices. And even uh, left-leaning economists are saying this too. Nonpartisan con Congressional Budget Office will have a negligible impact on inflation. I know Bernie Sanders says um, it's going to have little to nothing. Not that he's a, an economist. It's the fact that he's disagreeing with, you know, his own party on it. Um, yeah, talking about how it wasn't the $2 trillion corporate minimum tax. Impose a 15% minimum tax on corporations based on profits they publicly report on the financial statements to shareholders. Um, the levy would only apply to companies that report more than $1 billion in income. Democrats said the levy would affect over around 200 of the country's largest corporations with profits. So we're taking money from the large corporations and we're putting it towards climate change. I think it's another one of those situations, Eric, where it's take it away from other billionaires and put it towards my friend who's also a billionaire so that his energy corporation, because they like to attach things like green energy to a person that, you know, just loves everybody. It's green energy. Therefore, it's just made of love. There is nobody making billions of dollars off of it. Elon Musk, perfect example, electric cars, richest or top three richest men or people in the world people persons even so like just the idea that's going towards green energy is supposed to mean that it's good but like we we all know that green energy doesn't automatically mean electric cars even though that you have to there's that famous uh video where it's being powered by a coal plant nearby but it also means solar panels which are made in china which i'm sure it's going to funnel their way somehow and of course, wind energy isn't nearly as efficient as everybody would like it to be right now. So I think, Eric, it's another situation where it's I prefer my billionaires over your billionaires. But we're saying that we're saving you guys while we do this. No. Yeah. Well, I think you're actually maybe giving them a little bit too much credit, even like to say we're all supposed to believe that it's good when you talk about green energy. Like, yeah, I guess for the regular normie who's just like the surface level, like Californian maybe that works but i'd venture to say that mo when most people hear green energy they think scam i mean think about solyndra remember solyndra I mean, it was a complete and total scam they've been doing What's this that? uh it was um some sort of green energy firm that barack obama gave government contracts to however many billions of dollars in the bay area i believe of all places and it uh it was def it was it failed after like two or three years so it was to me, I mean, it kind of felt like a money laundering scam. Solyndra, uh, it was maybe 2013 or something. Don't quote me on that. You could look it up. But that's what I, th I mean, that's like tattooed on my brain. It's like this green stuff is a complete and total scam. And their lack of, again, I don't know if it's a lack of knowledge or if it's just uh, willful malice. But you, when you say, they'll tell people, oh, it's just going to be the companies, the billion dollar companies, like, bro. That's like, I get it. I know by oh, yeah, the billionaires, like they're all so successful corporate greed, but that stuff is going to trickle down. Like, do you think that, uh, you're what a car that costs you $25,000 in 2019 is still going to cost you the same amount, even though they're forcing these new taxes and all this stuff that, that gets trickled down to the customers and they never want to put the dots together. They never, they always want to pretend that these things are completely separate from each other and they're just not. And I don't know if this is like, they literally don't have the, the brain power. Like, I mean, this is like fifth grade stuff. Like there, there's a chain. And that's why even, even with Rona, like they were, Oh, well, we're just going to shut down the whole economy. Like that ruins everything. It's a domino effect. And you're pretending they knew it was a managed decline. They knew exactly what they were doing. But there's some people out there who think this is think think it's good. It, it's crazy to me. I, I don't know how how we reach these people. Well, if you think about it, if it's an inflation reduction act and we're charging the companies that we already buy from more, I think it's pretty obvious. Like conceivably, this would be the Amazons 
Microsofts, Walmarts, oh. companies that are gigantic would be paying more in tax. And then we're already pay, paying higher prices because of inflation. They're just going to raise their prices more. So either they want people to go poor or they want these companies to, to earn less money. Either way, it's not going to work out good in terms of reducing inflation harm. And like I said, if you really want to in reduce inflation, there's like half a billion dollars in there you can just give back to people or, or put into something. I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to give subsidies to companies like to grocers or farmers or something to make their things cheaper, the things that you absolutely need. And dare I say it, gas companies, even though I don't think they need the money, conceivably it would make, <sighs> conceivably it would make sense to give them the money so that they could lower the prices for everyone because if you just give out half a billion dollars to 300 million people, let's say it's not gonna be much money per person, but perhaps you gave it to a, a few companies, they could lower their prices. So I think what they're doing is actually the opposite. I'm not an economist, but I think I'm smart enough to know that when inflation is high, printing more money is not the correct thing to do there. It's to be more stringent with government spending and make sure you're not printing money and probably make cuts to the government. And I think uh, we can start in well, a few places. They would places. never do that. Of course not. They would never do that. I think